Hey people, welcome to the channel and doing another video here regarding Star Citizen, one of the more common questions you get all the time. What do I do? I just started playing. I bought myself my little Aurora or whatever other starship. So what is it that I do? Well, first of all, um, if you have your Aurora, that's nice. You have a little ship that is quite versatile. It has a little bit of room inside the cabin, as you see my guy is just sitting there, but if I get up, I have a little walk around room, and this is great for some of those box delivery missions. Most of all, the big advantage with the Aurora is that you have the bed, which allows you to log out without having to reach a station and saving your status. Now, if you have the, the Mustang, I think it's the Mustang Alpha, the, the starter one that you have in offer, it does have like a retractable storage place there in the back, which is okay, but in my experience, whatever you leave there, there's a good chance that it will fall through. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen enough that it's an issue, and this is a lot more reliable. Whatever box you leave here on the floor, it will most likely be there when you stop flying around. So let's go do that. So the first thing that I recommend anyone doing, especially if you're first time playing, do some delivery missions. This is being just a, a FedEx dude in space. And the one I recommend is gaining reputation. This is something you have to keep in mind. Whatever you're doing, you will gain reputation for that. So if you do combat, if you do mercenary, go with a red wind. A option. Red Wind is like a, a delivery option that you have there. So Red Wind, um, Red Wind seeks new pilots. Okay, so let's accept that and do that right now. Again, couldn't be any easier. Simple enough. And here you will learn to just fly around a little bit. Learn your ship. You're not doing combat, but you're learning how to move around. You go into quantum travel, pressing B. You wait for it to finish loading up, long press, and then you start flying around. Get used to using F4 for that third view uh, camera every once in a while so to move around correctly, and just learn to fly. Relax, have fun, don't hurry. There's really not else, <laughs> not much else uh, for you to do so as to uh, enjoy the, the little journey, especially in those first steps, right? So, a nice little delivery mission, it will not give you a ton of money, it will actually give you very little money. I have videos on how to make money, yes, even with a starter ship, there's a much, much better ways of making money, and we'll get that probably in part two of this, of these videos. But first of all, let's go do that, let's go get ourselves our, our uh, delivery box, and as you see, the marker just disappeared now, I know I have to go to... Hadley, right? Because that's what the mission says. But the marker just, you know, disappeared. Which is... <laughs> right, I know I have to go there, but... There you go. There, there is, it, it popped again, okay? Now, these things happen all the time. Alpha. Uh, you want to learn how to slow down and not crash, which will happen. At first, you will crash against crap all the time. But that's part of these delivery missions. Try to finish them so as to not lose reputation. If you don't finish them, your reputation starts suffering as if you're not a you're not a reliable delivery guy anymore, right? So do these. Uh, try to finish them. Yeah, sometimes they glitch out. Don't worry. Try it again. But don't accumulate a bunch of missed missions. The ones that give you the big money are the ones you see now pop on top there. High threat combat beacons. Those are good money missions, but we'll get to that soon enough. If you're interested in that, I have videos on that here in the channel already. Turn your lights on with L, so as you have a little bit better visibility. Um, go into decoupled with that C, lower the landing gear as you get closer. F4 says to change the view there. And here we'll get down to it. One of the things you will take advantage of in these missions is get a lot of loot. You want to get as much loot as you can. I'm talking about food, multi-tools, all of that good stuff. That's where you, you make the best of these. Okay. So make sure you know exactly where you're going so as to not waste a hell of a lot of time. But again, we're not in a hurry. So just take it easy. Explore. 
check every box you you will eventually know where they spawn so these things are this is part of the of the process right turn off your engines with i leave everything else on and get out of your ship you may want to close the doors so as to not have anyone sneak in and steal your ship which does happen i mean you get people hiding in your ship and shooting you in your head so yeah <laughs> lots of weirdos out there make sure it's not happening to you okay open no oh, loot no just want to open the doors <laughs> uh star citizen always always good fun yeah yeah they, they probably should make this a little bit better you know eventually at some point they will give enough of a damn <laughs> so as to make this work better but here we finally exit our ship and we're looking for that package so that's the first thing we'll get ourselves right okay we open delivery missions so answering the question is what's the first thing you should do do the delivery missions because it allows you to fly around explore the verse learn what are mining stations learn what are um, what loot boxes you want to look for okay in this case I'm not seeing anything so we'll go explore elsewhere we'll still still finish here oh, there's nothing okay let's pick our our box right carrying this box of waste no problem we pick it up take it back to our ship again if you have a Mustang you have the little compartment uh, which should work. I like the Aurora a little bit better. Um, both are starter ships that are... And people always say, is this a good ship? There's no, really very few actual bad ships in Star Citizen. They're all quite good. Well thought out. And some are a little bit older, right? Some are all, and the nice thing is you can place your box. It's like, yeah, not in the bed. Like, just place it there on the floor. This should work okay enough. You can have like three boxes here, which is I think the maximum that you can move around uh, unless you accept several missions. But just start with one and then doing a few other things, you'll make more than enough money to buy better ships. You'll get yourself a, a nice uh, Avenger Titan probably. That's what I would recommend doing. And you do that by doing combat missions. Uh, not the high ones, but the low and definitely the moderate ones. Those pay 30, 35k every couple minutes. And yeah, in no time, you will have enough for... Oh, that's a nice set of armor. Let's pick that up. Right, personal note, we'll just drop it here. So this is what I mean. When you go exploring a little bit in these mining outposts, you will find stuff that helps you out. That's one suit of armor that I don't have to buy. That's one suit of armor that I could potentially sell. And that's, that makes you a little bit of extra money. Also remember, you need food. So as to be alive in Star Citizen, you need to eat and drink with certain regularity. And yeah, it's not going to be saving a whole lot of money, but I find it a lot more immersive if I actually find the food myself instead of just go and buy a bunch of it, which, I mean, you can do as well. It's up to you. Play any way you want. That's the beauty of it. Now, these boxes, the white ones, they will have clothes. They will have... Um, oh, nice jacket. This is, a, this is actually a jacket for, that sells for good money. So I'm taking that with me. I'm taking the multi-tool, which I most definitely need. I have this mining attachment if you want to try out mining. And then we have, and remember this fruit stuff, this also gives you, this also is edible. So pick this up. And you know, little tip for you guys to keep in mind, this type of fruit, it does not despawn. It's not considered a consumable, even though you can consume it. So this will not disappear with a wipe. So that is cool to know. This is toxic, so I wouldn't eat it. Learn to read these things. You know, some of these lights, all of this stuff can be useful. So as you see, I'm doing one of these, you know, basic, minimalistic. And here we have, you know, the, the cooler attachments, some clothes, water. Again, edible fruits, which is healthier than the processed stuff. <laughs> right? So this is what you do. You just pick up a bunch of stuff and you don't have a ton of storage, but you have more storage than in your than in your Mustang. And at least for me that's a, a big deal. So that along with a, with a bed, that at least for me makes the the must the Aurora a, a better option. 
I have one more place to check out, which is the the, the little blue pad post here. And here you can um, deliver your vehicles and some of the smaller ships, which you eventually want to buy one of. I recommend the C8R, which is affordable. It is very cool just to fly around. And it has a medical bed, so to do bunkers. These helmets, they sell, again, for quite a bit of money. So you're really looking at maybe 10k here on loot that I just found. So this improves nicely your, your profits. Again, stuff that you can actually eat, shoes, clothes, water. We're taking all of this. Look at this one. This has a good amount of nutrition and hydration value. So he, yeah, you can use this as a medical attachment and more stuff. I don't know if that is very worthy or not, but that's what you have here. So, cool. This is what I have so far. These are some of the ships you can actually get delivered here. So when you check these out, you have the, PV, the PTV, the Rock, 100i, 85x, M50. All of those ships can be delivered here. So pick the one you like the most. One of the ones that I like is the 100 series, 125a. That is a little bit better as a combat ship and... It is deliverable here, and it has a bed, which, again, the bed, at times when you're in a bit of a hurry, can save the day. Okay, almost 11 minutes into this. So, as you see, these are by no means the most profitable missions you can do, especially in terms of time. In terms of, of profit versus time, you want to keep in mind that time factor. If you're grinding some of those combat beacons, which we'll do, soon enough we'll do some of those, just to show you how easy it is to make money. Uh, but at this point, you're interested in getting some of that loot, all right? Um, I did not get uh, a tractor beam attachment, which I already have in my multi-tool. But look around. You will find those. They are, they are available. Okay, so we load up our ship with some of these armor, clothes, move all. It's going to be a little bit quicker. So we throw... So you see, there's not a whole lot of space. Most other ships have a heck of a lot more. You're talking about several thousands uh, of uh, room there. But this is not bad by, by any means. Okay, we're all done here. Closing the door. Getting into our seat. Yeah, this is not work. This is kind of glitchy right now. <laughs> did I just glitch through the roof? Oh, yeah. Of course I did. Could not be any other way. Opening again. Getting into my ship. If it lets me, if not, give it a little bit of a jump. That kind of helps sometimes. All right. There we go. Uh, you don't have to actually close the door when you go into quantum travel. It closes on its own. And the box will be okay. Turning on the engines with I. And we go up and away. There we go. Into space. We need to reach a certain altitude before we can go again into quantum travel mode. So let's turn this off. And that's it. Right? So yeah. As of now, N so has to bring the landing gear up and down. It will go up anyway. So you may, may as well do it yourself. Um, yeah, those things do happen. On, one of the things I like about the Aurora, you have good visibility. The Mustang has even better visibility, but you have lots of screens here. So... It's, it's, it's really nice, uh, a nice little ship just to get started. And again, I have to insist on this. Either one, if you know how to play, this is very much still skill-based. You will make more than enough money to buy uh, most of those ships that cost hundreds of dollars in-game in just a day or two, if you know what you're doing. Right now, we have to go back into that quantum trial mode looking for the delivery drop... Dropping the box over there in Titus. That's our destination. So let's get this done as quickly as possible so as to get paid. And most of all, finish the missions just to gain that reputation with Red Wing. Red Wing missions have... Uh, it was, there was a time in which Red Wing missions allowed you to grind that uh, very nice uh, elite armor from, uh, from Hurston. Uh, so that was one of the reasons why uh, I used to grind this thing. Uh, but as of right now, I'm not sure if it still holds true. Anyway, let's finish delivering this thing. 
and move on to the next thing that you should learn how to do as a new player. Right, going down here. Not sure why I'm always getting this thing engaging on its own. It seems to go into auto gamble mode automatically. For whatever reason. Okay, so we're pointing, going directly at our destination. Yeah, it's not the most beautiful ship ever, but it is okay. It's quite capable. Right, going there. 15 minutes. Yeah, this is probably going to be 16, 17 minutes. Again, at this point, you're just taking it easy. You're not rushing things. You're just learning how to play, learning how to fly your ship and learning your way around the verse, learning your way with that map, which yeah, needs a lot of work still, but it is what we have. Just relax, enjoy the view, and have fun. Remember that if you're thinking of playing Star Citizen, you have the links there below, you also have my referral, and also a subscription to the channel would be appreciated if you like my content, if you have any requests, like questions specifically, I do read those and I answer them, so if you have any questions, Leave your comment there below, I'll try to answer it as best as I can. If you have any requests for future video content, more than welcome. That's why I do these things. Okay, speeding things up a little bit. Hurrying, you can go pretty fast, up to let's say 2,000 meters or so. The ship will decelerate quite fast anyway. So yeah, there we go. Getting a little bit closer there. Right, we bring down our landing gear, F4, so as you know. Where is that I'm going? Okay. There it is. And now we get as close as possible. You don't need to land on the... You don't even need to land on those pads so as to get your... Um, your your uh, cargo sold or, or whatever, right? So let's drop... And actually, since we're here, let's buy a little bit of cargo. Why not? You do have a couple of SE of cargo there. Let's actually check that out and see how it looks. I, Y, long press so as to get out of our seats. And here we go. Okay, nice. Opening here, picking up our box, and getting ready to deliver this bad boy. Okay, that's over there. Already opened. No idea why. Doesn't matter. Okay. Patience, almost there. <laughs> yeah, this one seems to be working. Drop off, that's where we click. And we select place, and we place it in there. Give it a second, and there you go. Okay, contra complete. Making a big old pile of cash with this 3,000 SE. Okay, with that money I could buy something. What is it I could buy here? <laughs> uh, Buying what? Oh, let's select. You, you select the, the ship. Right. Select location. Oh. It's not letting me select my Aurora for whatever reason. Yeah. That's weird. I should be allowed to select Aurora and buy. Okay. What could I buy? So it's letting me buy what? 4 SCU? 7 FCU? But it's getting delivered where? Let's buy a little bit of scrap for the total amount of... Okay, so I'm buying 4 of scrap? And where is this delivered? Scrap. Buy. Confirm. <laughs> okay, invalid inventory. Yeah, that's weird. Anyway, I should be able to use uh, the MR. Maybe landing it on the on the pad. Anyway, we finished the mission, and yeah, we're not gonna be doing cargo with the Aurora, but I just want to check that out. So, guys, that's how you do your first little delivery mission. The more of these you do, the more reputation you get, and eventually you get paid a little bit better. But this is the first step, folks. See you in the next video. Take care.